<laughs> JB, I'll, I'll take fish references for 500. We uh, turn back right around to the dock side. Darren Shapiro gets ready for his final run. Now, Shapiro, normally the consummate, consistent competitor. But unfortunately for Darren, he has found 2003 one of the most challenging years ever. Definitely uh, going into this event, I had a little bit of bad luck at the beginning of the season with the Triple Crown. This is my last chance to win an event this year. There's nothing I want more than to stick it and kill it and go home with the title. He was the 2002 Van Triple Crown winner. In 2001, he won the last event, the World Championship. So far, he's been shut out of the Triple Crown win column in 2003, something he hopes to change here. There's nothing like winning, and that's why we come to these events. But you got to be willing to lose to win. Shapiro gets ready for pass number one, and the allure of altitude of that top podium spot, can Shapiro regain it? Shapiro sure can regain that spot. You know, I spoke to Darren about how his 2003 season went. He said, if anything, he under-strategized the competition. He pulled big scoring moves out of his run thinking he didn't need them. Well, he's going to insert them here. Big backside off axis 360. Shapiro said he's going to come out with all of his big scoring moves. Nice looking oh. fruit loop. And if he doesn't stand them all up, well, he's going to die trying. Nice off axis 540 from Shapiro right there. Switch dance, no less. Look at that. Big bat wing to backside 180. And now going up, 270 up onto that flat bar. One more switch dance approach. Goes for the switch seven from the toe side. Shapiro is truly a man of his word. And still to ride, Sean Murray. Seeing interesting kind of flux here. Shapiro getting back in his game. Murray getting back in his game this year. The kickoff move of pass number one goes up, gaps that A-frame. Looked like he almost slid it out, but again, keeps that handle close to him. He keeps it under control. Up over the top. It's the toe side front flip with the backside 180. Called the Fruit Loop. Shapiro's the only one throwing it. Now look, here's another technical backside rotation. The nice bat wing and then the front hand pulling it into the small of his back to initiate the backside rotation. A great bat wing to blind. So second pass for Shapiro. Lava's first pass stand-up. Gets a full pull coming across that flat bar slider. Now lining up the Ford Ranger cage. Shapiro knows there's points all over that course. He wants to grab every single one of them. Switch dance, switch dance. Vulcan with the method grab. Shades of Mark Kenny right there. Now in. One more. Oh, this time another switch dance move, a technical move. The skeezer. Two switch dance moves. He's not even done yet. Eyeballing the A-frame one more time. A backside rotation over it. One more switch dance again. One rotation, two. A switch dance. 720 from the heel side. That was vintage Shapiro. Oh, I am just charged up right now, Pat. Shapiro has to be on top of the world. Great slide over that Ford Ranger cage. Now look how much speed he's carrying in. Again, that switch dance. Look at that long method grab as he then rewinds it a buck 80. Now another switch dance move. He calls it the skeezer, the switch dance chromo. And one more time, look, his right foot's forward. He's a left foot forward rider, but that doesn't prohibit him from busting out that kind of technical move. Two switch sevens wrap up the passes. That one was heel side, unreal. Now the question is the double up. We've seen him pull the speed ball before. Darren Shapiro has many other tricks besides the speed ball, but great conditions today. Well, it's been many moons since we've seen that speed ball. And again, Shapiro said he's taken critical elements out of his runs in the past. He may reinsert this, because this is one of the big daddies of them all. It is going to be the speed ball. One, two, oh! and he stopped it. Shapiro oh. sticks the speed ball. What a treat. Bad for a guy who wanted to wrap up 2003 in prime form. That man right there just did it, Shapiro. It is so great to see him that stoked. He is such a critic of his own riding, but right now, thumbs up. I give him a thumbs up. Everybody gives him the thumbs up. That has to be the leader. Insane riding. Re-energized, Shapiro is back and puts an emphatic stamp on it. It's almost amazing, Pat, that nobody else has picked up on this move. Look how textbook, he always hits this move with textbook quality, yet nobody else is able to duplicate that. It is just indicative of what a high-level athlete. Look how perfect everything is. Shapiro is the man today.
So Shapiro lands the double up when he needed it most. Getting a little frenzied here on the dock. All the other riders feeling the juice from that incredible run. Shapiro was claiming that he was going to pull it out in this final run, the last event of the year for Shapiro, and did it when it counted most. The question is, how did it sit with the judges? The riders obviously feeling it. Sean Murray is still to ride. It's difficult to come off a run like that. So here's a look at our current standings. Darren Shapiro, no surprise, way on top. Look at the point differential, 93. Eric Ruff in second with the 84. So Parks Boniface showing his support for Sean Murray. Sean Murray, former Triple Crown champ, but it is still a frenzy down here on the dock. I, I'm, JB, what is Darren thinking right now? Darren, it's got to feel great to stand up a run. It was vintage Shapiro, man. You brought some old things back. And you got to feel good leaving it all out there. You know, Parks came up to me and he just said, "Do this, you know, do whatever you can do because, you know, you've had a rough season and he wanted to see it and that gave me a lot of confidence. The switch chrome over, the speed bomb, I mean, two things we hadn't seen from you, Darren. I mean, had you brought him down here trying to win an event, or do you want to come out here and just show everybody, hey, Darren Shapiro still has it all? Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. So a high energy dock going on right now. Sean Murray taken to the slider, and Sean Murray, his own battles include not just wakeboarding injuries, softball injuries, but finally back in the game for 2003, making his first finals in a long time. I can't remember the last one. It's certainly not in the Triple Crown event. I mean, we, we may have to go all the way back to 1990s. We've seen him in a finals in the Triple Crown event, backside 540. It just proves he's been out there sharpening his game all the time. Sometimes contests just don't work out. But Sean Murray is more than a contest rider. He's a professional athlete. He's a man of the people. But right now, Murray is putting together a run that could bring him yet another world championship. Look at that. The big Rayleigh, the heel side extension, then a backside 180 landing. I mean, Pat, if you come up short on that, you're hating it. Just like that move, a backside 540. Two technical moves, both stomped. So our current leader, Shapiro, forced to sit and wait dockside to see if the score can be better. He set a very lofty tone with that 93 cannon hole. So far, it's it's tough to say. We've seen incredible riding in first pass by Sean Murray. Now time for second pass. How stoked are we? I mean, the riding has been ascending this entire heat, and it seemingly is getting better right now with this run by Sean Murray. Now into the Ford Ranger cage. Ooh, just barely got a little tic-tac on that as he came back down. Now in over the top, the Chromo 540. Oh. That's a big score. You don't see many of them in the finals. Now he's all wrapped up. Is it the KGB or the KGB 5? He took in another buck 80 as well. Serious most guys, linkage. Most guys throw moves. Murray takes it, boop, another 180 further. That's how he separates himself from the pack. Yeah, Murray, <laughs> you ought to be stoked. Has he been playing his video game on the Xbox? I don't know where he's coming out with this. Well, he's taking some of those, I can't believe it's true, uh, video game moves and he's brought them out here to the water. He linked them back to back. Good work on that Ford Ranger cage. But this is great work right here. Look how rapid that last 180 degree rotation is. It snap fast, and now he's gonna come in all wrapped up. You're using some time getting all wrapped up, but he makes the best use of it. The wrap KGB 540, the only one we've seen all weekend. Murray continues to reinvent himself as the heats go on. And remember the score to beat, Darren Shapiro set it with the 93 as Murray approaches his double up. We have another heel side approach here. Murray again, like Ruck, like all these guys, he's got so much variation, so many dynamic moves, I don't even want to guess. He's going to probably take something big. The Hoochie Glide to backside 180. Oh, Murray, he's thrown the gauntlet down as well. Almost a completely different run oh. from Darren Shapiro's. Look at that. Again, he's always a man for the people. Well, Murray chips the boat. Will it be enough to take away the lead from Darren Shapiro? We will find out when we return to the 2003 Vance Triple Crown of Wakeboarding. The box. And that secures the win for Sean Murray, the 2003 WWA Wakeboarding World <laughs> Champion. This morning he announced no competition in 2004. What a way to go out. More when we come back. Here's a look at the final results of today's event. Taking the top podium, here comes Sean Murray. A well-deserved top podium spot. 
And as we mentioned earlier, sadly, Sean Murray will retire from formal competition next year. We look forward to seeing him in any aspect of the sport. Incredible competition from start to finish. On behalf of JB, I'm Pat Parnell. We will see you next year on the Vans Triple Crown of Wave 40.